The other day I ran into a situation that I want to share with you. Hi, my name is Alicia. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Microsoft Dynamics C365 Finance and Supply Chain. And I was actually wanting to change the person or the employee associated with my D365 user. So I went in, looked at my user and the field was grayed out. And the question is, how can I change the employee that's associated with my user. So I wanna show that to you today. So to do this, we're gonna go under system administration and then under users, we're gonna go into users. Once we're here, we're gonna find our user. So here's me, right? So I'm gonna click on myself. You'll notice that my person is grayed out, right? So the question is, okay, great. How can I do this? Even if I click edit, you'll notice I can't get into that field. So what you do is you go at the top where it says maintain versions, click here, and I've got this funny little box here, I don't know where it came from. Um, then you can see my person, but again, I can't change this. Even if I click new, it automatically is defaulting that person in. So to get rid of this, you simply delete this record. So it says, so I clicked on delete, you're about to delete a record in user and person relationship. Do you want to delete this? I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so now it's gone. If I go back and I refresh my screen, now I can get to the person field. So if you're ever doing a test or someone gets assigned incorrectly, just know that all you do is click on maintain versions, delete that entry there, then it reopens up the person field and you're able to assign the appropriate person to the D365 user. So until next time, keep your head in the clouds and keep working wise.